Hi, this is Bill Guesswich. I have a short video for you today. Previously, I showed you how to do validation messages at the form level. Today, I want to show you how to do validation messages at the field level. So you have a couple of different options. So let's get started. Back in Visual Studio, we're in the Blazor app from scratch solution. And we are in the person component. So here, let's first just move the validation summary messages back up to the top. Since we're doing the edit context and enabling and disabling the button, it doesn't really matter where those messages are at this point. I like them up top. Then we can add a validation message below the inbox. So we'll say validation message for equals capital F open paren and then we need a lambda expression so we will say what there equals lambda and then my person dot first name okay and then we'll close that out and that'll give us a, me a validation message right below the first name field We'll copy that down to the age and just change this to age. And we will run it. We'll go to the person, type in F. And if you notice, as soon as I tap out of there, here's the one error message below the field. Here's the other error message below the field. Lots going on here. A lot of repl replication, so let's close out. Let's get rid of that. And let's run it again. Go to the person, F, and there we go. Validation messages per field. Let's just correct them all. And there we go. Thanks for watching, and please feel free to reach out to me with any comments or questions. And as always, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.